I'm cute. Hey, um, we have a little math tip to share with you about multiplication facts, math facts, um, that my, not this son, but my older son has recently discovered, not on our own, uh, but he wanted to share because he's having to learn his, um, all the way up through 15s, his times tables, and he was really struggling with especially the 13s, 14s, and 15s, having a good way to remember those. And once we found this tip, it has been so helpful for him and me um, to be able to remember those much easier. So we wanted to share that with y'all too, in case that is um, helpful for you. All right, here we go. He's gonna show you and tell you about it as he does it. So we do 13 times one. No, well, that's, that's pretty simple. Just 13, the identity law. Then 13 times two. So first thing you do is 12 times, I mean two times three, which equals six. So you put it in the ones digit. Then you do two times one, which equals two. And if this if this number was higher, like if it was 16, we, um, we add the one to the two, which will make it three, so that will make it 36, but it's not. Then we do 13 times three, which equals, 13 times three equals, three, three times three equals nine, and then three plus one, um, three times one, I mean, equals three. Do that for all the way till 13 times 13. Which Charlie says you start getting higher because that's when you start adding, especially. So here, 13 times 4 equals 12. 3 so, times 4. I mean, 3 times 4 equals 12. So, you, And then you bring the 1 right here. Then you do 4 plus 1 equals 5. 5 times 1 equals 5. So that's 52. Right. And then... 13 times 5 equals, you know, your 5s, then right after t um, 60 is 65. That's that's how I remember this one. Oh, okay. Well, that's a good one, too. And it also works the way he's been showing you, though. Yes. Even if you didn't want Same. to do it that way. Then 13 times 6 equals, 6 times 3 equals 18. 6 plus 1 equals 7. 78. And that's why I'm not showing you, that's why I'm not saying 13 times one is because since we're in the 13s, it's, all um, it's always, it's just going to be one, but like, in the 20s yeah, it's 20s or 30s, they okay. 13 times seven equals three times seven equals 21. So you put the one right there, not the two. Then you bring the two over here. Seven plus two equals nine. So that's 91. 13 times 8 equals 24. Bring the 4 right there. I mean, no, 3 times 8 equals 24. So 2 is 100 or 10, and that's a 104. 13 times 9 equals. Now, usually with the 9s, you can do the fingers trick, but that won't work for 12 and up. Or, I mean, 11 and up. So 9 times 3 equals 20. Seven, seven, then two, that's 117. 13 times 10, that's very simple. Just bring, just put the zero at the end of 13, 130. And then 13 times 11 equals, 11 times three equals three, three, so three, three. 11 plus 3 equals um, 14, so 143. And then 13 times 12 equals, 12 times 3 equals 36. Bring the 3 over there. 12, 12 plus 3 equals 5. So that's, I mean, 12, yeah, 15. 156, and then 13 times 13 equals, so 13 times 3 can go right here, equals 39, put the 9 right there, 
through right there. That equals 16 because 3 times 3 plus 3 equals 6, and that's pretty easy. And then you just add the 1, so 16. And there you go, and it works for the 13s, 14s, 15s, and even the um, even the 100s. Oh, wow. So. Well, he, and he only has, the way he has to do his 13s is up to 13 times 13. Then his 14s, he has to go up to 14 times 14. And then his 15s, he's got to go to 15 times 15. So that's why he's stopping on this one at 13 times 13. But you could go higher, and it would still work. So it's pretty neat. I really like it. So hopefully it's helpful to you. Thank you, Anderson.